You know, lots of people have asked me over the course of the last week, um, why here? Why here? Because everything started here for me. Everything started here for me. The confidence, the education, the friends, the family, and the love that I've always felt for and from this community. When I decided to make this announcement, there wasn't any choice. I had to come home, and Livingston is home for me. And now, and now we face a country. We face a country that's not angry. When I hear the media say that our country is angry, I know they're wrong. Last year, I went to 37 different states across this country in one year. I met people in every corner of America, and they are not angry. Americans are not angry. Americans are filled with anxiety. They are filled with anxiety because they look to Washington, D.C., and they see a government that not only doesn't work anymore, it doesn't even talk to each other anymore. It doesn't even try to pretend to work anymore. We have a president in the Oval Office who ignores the Congress and a Congress that ignores the president. We need a government in Washington, D.C. that remembers you went there to work for us, not the other way around. We just need, we just need to have the courage to choose. We just need to have the courage to stand up and say enough. We need to have the courage to course, to course a new path for America. America knows that new path. It knows where we need to go. It must start with this. We must tell each other the truth about the problems we have and the difficulty of the solutions. But if we tell each other the truth, everybody, we recognize that truth and hard decisions today will lead to growth and opportunity tomorrow for every American in this country. What, what are those truths? What are those truths? Those truths are that we have to acknowledge that our government isn't working anymore for us. We have to acknowledge that and say it out loud. And we have to acknowledge that it's the fault of our bickering leaders in Washington, D.C., who no longer listen to us and no longer know that they're supposed to be serving us. We need to acknowledge that all of that anxiety and those failures are not the end. They're the beginning, the beginning of what we can do together. What we need to decide is that we can make a difference that we can stand up and make a difference in this country. I have spent the last 13 years of my life as U.S. Attorney and Governor of this state fighting for fairness and justice and opportunity for the people of the state of New Jersey. That fight has not made me more weary. It has made me stronger. And I am now ready to fight for the people of the United States of America. America is tired of hand-wringing and indecisiveness and weakness in the Oval Office. We need to have strength and decision-making and authority back in the Oval Office. And that is why today I am proud to announce my candidacy for the Republican nomination for President of the United States of America.